Hey traders and welcome to Jackrabbit Trader. My name is Steve and in this video we're going to take a look at some trade alerts for Saturday, November 9th, 2019. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're putting videos like this out every weekend and these are our trade ideas for this week. So before we get into that, let's just take a quick look at some of the trades that we alerted to last week. And again, you could see on that this right hand most column that the percent change over the last seven days. So since we've alerted it, but AMD up 9.54 percent, uh, ADM up 6.86 percent. Okay, hitting into that first target level that we talked about, 43.64. AME continues it break its breakout from last week. Amgen continuing its breakout from last week. Berk B right up into resistance at 222 as we had alerted to. STI continuing its breakout. IR looking like it's continuing. CBRE not doing much. And then we get into a couple losers. TMO down on the week. Uh, BFB down on the week. MMC down on the week. Facebook up 1.38% over the last seven days. And last but not least, STX continuing its breakout. So I show you those only to see what exactly is happening after we put out some of these alerts. And obviously the market continuing on its strong wood upward momentum helps us immensely. But, you know, here we are, right? Uh, where was the one? Amgen, I think. Nope. Where was one that? Burke B? Yeah, here we go. Right? I mean, some of these trades, they're quick trades, right? You take it from 215, you're out of 222, you picked up a quick seven bucks on the trade and you move on and you see if it does anything else so uh, that's why i like these weekly trades you know you could trade them however you want you could trade the runners and you could trade anything that goes right into a target and again not saying that they don't continue higher uh, in the coming weeks but the trade for me on the on brook b was from the 215 to 222 again picking up a quick seven bucks uh you know and a lot of those quick quick little hitters uh they add up and you know again just different ways to trade them and then obviously you have your your other you know ame that just continues to run and you continue to manage it so let's see what we have for this week and we'll hopefully get some more winners just like we did last week all right so when we run our scan we find 143 potential trade setups and out of that 143 i found one two three four five six potentials that are actually setting up. So what does that tell you, right? So first for me, that tells me that out of 143 names, only six are setting up. And when I go through the charts, most of that is because a lot of these are extended, right? They had some big moves, goes along with what we've talked about in the market, right? The market's just really gone straight up. So uh, this is, for me, probably not a time I wanna be adding risk, but you know in the name of looking at some trade setups to give you some ideas here they are first adobe all right adobe you could see came back pulled back all right this was a one that we we're actually long in the uh, jackrabbit club we got stopped out a few weeks ago and sure enough probably marked the lows on where we got stopped out but pulled back pulled back pulled back came into this 270 level hit support now rotating back up to the upside my first um, uh, target, I should say, would be up here at the previous highs, which is the 312 area. So realistically for this, looking for it to go from 292 to 312 and then see what happens from there. But uh, Adobe rotating back up to the upside. AXP, very similar situation. I'll clear this so we can get a better idea. But essentially here is support, okay? So again, what are we looking for? Uh, first, we're looking for how to make this white. Okay, so we're trying to find levels that we feel are significant. So here, back in November of last year, it was resistance. Here, resistance. Here, support. And then sure enough, right here, just a few weeks ago, support again so this 114 level pretty significant in my opinion and again because it's a pullback trade what is our first target well the first target is back up to the old highs right around 128 10 
and that is the trade setup that I'm looking for in AXP. Quick little trade to the upside, similar to Adobe. FISV, FISERV, all right, this is one that we alerted to back in June, or when we, probably not, actually, I probably wasn't even doing the, uh, uh, the trade alerts at that point, but here it is back in June. Nice move to the upside, and now here we are again, break out to new highs, go back, find the support level, all right, which is right around this 101 area, find the most recent high after or before that, which is right around 109. There is the consolidation pattern, and stop goes in right around that 101.73. Trade it to the upside, see how long it can go, and it looks like earnings on this were the sixth, so earnings have passed. Let's see how far FISV can go. Microsoft, just a little bit of a mess, but let's, I don't want to clear the whole thing. Uh, let's just clear the whole thing. All right, so same thing, break out to the upside, go back, find the most recent low. That's right here around this 132.65 level. Okay, consolidation right above that. So again, going back, find the high of that consolidation. There's your trade, all right? And again, it's all above an uptrend. All right, so there's Microsoft, 145.96, stop 132.50. Give it a few more uh, percent, you know, just to play it safe. But looks like that's a nice breakout to the upside. Uh, in Microsoft UPS let's see do we have a UPS weekly we do clear that drawing set similar situation in UPS here you have an uptrend in play again go back find the most recent support I'm going to draw it right around this 112 area find the recent highs before that 122.56 you can see that from a uh, target level we're breaking to new closing highs but we are still right around the 125 right if we draw it at these wick highs which would be 125 125 125 and then again it looks like we're sitting right up against resistance if you want to draw it maybe at the closing highs then using this 123.65 a breakout and then ultimately first target up here 134.50 and your stop down here right around 111.80. And again, where is, <clears throat> make this white, there you go. Okay, so that's your trade setup. You're risking about 12 or $13 to make about 10. Not always the three to one that you look for or two to one. I don't really believe in that. I'm looking for the quick moves uh, to different, between support and resistance. And last but not least, what did I just do? Clear drawing set, I'll create alert. Same thing, ZBH Zimmer Biomet Holdings. Can't say I'm familiar with those, this one. It's a healthcare name. Uh, again, here's the breakout. Find the most recent low. Find the most recent high. There is your consolidation support. Oh, look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? Look at what you got, All right? You got resistance, resistance, oh. and now it broke out above it and it used that old resistance, became new support, all right? So break out to the upside, 133.29 is the support level or an end, therefore your stop. So that's it. Those are the five or six that I came up with. Again, uh, doesn't mean that they're not going to work. Just not finding a lot that I feel fits my style, fits my profile uh, as a trader. So these are the ones that do. And again, you have to read into that a little bit where, uh, you know, if you're not finding trades that are setting up based on your process and your style, well, then maybe, you know what, maybe the market needs a little bit of a rest or maybe the market is not, uh, you know, has run enough that you're not finding what you need. So just take that in, into consideration and don't try and find the uh, the perfect trade. Um, you know, 
maybe there's a reason that you're not finding them. So uh, again, if this is your first time here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you enjoyed the content, and we'll see you next week for another Trade Alerts video. Take care.